been online like 45 minutes before, but the problem is uh, we are unable to connect. We don't know why, but thank you so much for uh, all of you guys stay in and we apologize. Um, in the Philippines, we're having some kind of uh, freak weather here. I hope everywhere else is it's good and cool. <laughs> I'm seeing everyone here. I see Jane, Kenneth. I would like to say hi to Ron. Thank you, Sean. Richard, I also have um, Lisa, Louis. Okay, let me just, okay, try and read all your names. Joseph, uh, hi everyone. And nice to have everyone here. I'm re again, we really apologize for having you wait for a while, but uh, glad everyone stayed. And thank you so much for being with us today here. Let me just uh, show my screen to you guys. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, show you how the mobile apps work okay and let me just go ahead and pull it up for you okay it's cold and raining in Charlotte nice nice to know that here in the Philippines we don't know why but the the, the weather is is super hot it, it's supposed to be um, the month of May where we're, uh, summer is almost over we're supposed to have um, nice um, cool rains coming in. Uh, unfortunately, we don't know why temperature rises up to uh, 37 degrees Celsius. It's like you have a slight fever there. And I think our internet system is being affected by that as well. And um, anyway, um, did I miss the SMS webinar? Um, yes, we had one um, while, while we're waiting for this to load. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll help you out. Uh, I'll show you guys how uh, the mobile platform works and also what I'm going to do is I'll try and answer some of your questions while we are if we're actually having some problems with connections so here as you can see I'm logging in as my advertiser so like what I was uh, telling you guys before you always need to log in as your uh, advertiser for you to be able to um, see the platform so um, for the SMS webinar, um, you could actually access it on the members area. Uh, just click on SMS. I believe we have that uploaded. Uh, when you click on SMS, you would see their uh, training or knowledge base. Uh, just click on training, and you're supposed to see there the uh, webinar uh, that we had about SMS. Okay. I'm trying to, to see your questions here. Oh, can you, um, I'm seeing that, okay, Selena lost me. Can you still hear me? Oh, Mike, um, members link, just go to training and support. Uh, once you log into your account, as you can see here on my screen, this is the training and support link. Once you click that, it leads you right away to your um, coaching um, area so there as you can see okay uh, it would automatically log you in so you don't need to log in okay nice to hear that here so as you can see I had my screen kind of uh, I, I made it kind of big for, for you guys to see it uh, I, I believe you've been seeing my screen um, uh, with, with a smaller text and all that the past few uh, webinars that we had and my apologies for that I just realized that uh, I mean I had a very good vision but then again I forgot like my mom um, saw the, the screen that I was using and she was telling me that uh, it's kind of small so uh, the problem there is that um, uh, some guys could not actually see it okay let me just okay so here okay sorry about that um, can everybody see my screen? I uh, just would like to uh, see a yes there if you are seeing it so we could start with the mobile apps training. Good. <laughs> I'm seeing everyone here. Okay, a lot of yeses. I'm very, very, actually despite all the, 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 the problems we've been getting earlier, I'm very happy actually because uh, the, the room is very um, interactive. I could not even um, 
see the answers honestly the, the names of the people answering because uh, the the answers uh, kept coming in uh, but anyway um, as you can see here this is the the platform that we have for the advertisers so here uh, the the coaching screen loaded I'm just showing it to you guys okay and um, as you can see here uh, this is the uh, training section mobile side training SMS training there so are you supposed here this is the training that we had for SMS so for you guys who uh, may have missed it we have the replay there mobile sites also here because you've been getting a lot of questions about this I'm actually showing it to you guys so this is the basic training and this is the one that we did the um, other time so you're supposed to actually see it here as well and now we'll, we'll be doing the mobile apps so here as you can see uh, we have the mobile apps link here okay all you have to do is uh, click that okay let me just check here I'm just waiting for it to load okay and if you would, uh, you'd like as well I also suggest that you go ahead and um, have your account open so that you could follow me just in case um, you, you're not able to see my screen because there may be some people who uh, may not see my screen uh, maybe due to internet problems as well um, this is what I suggest um, I could see that the screen is, uh, is, is currently being shown but I'd like you guys to uh, open your site as well and just follow me so I'll just tell you the section and the name okay of the links just in case you're not seeing because I saw some people telling me that they're not able to see the screen so you might just want to follow okay so on the advertiser screen uh, let me just guide you through because I'd like you all to be able to to learn to do uh, to do this uh, on your main screen on the second um, section or um, column you would see their mobile apps uh, right below kiosk builder so there you should you should see that and once you click it you would get a pop-up and this pop-up would be the actual mobile apps builder okay so uh, as you're looking on my screen now um, what you could see is create new app uh, the link here uh, you could click this uh, this is for you to start creating a new app uh, this is how you usually do it uh, just click this and um, create new app okay or you could click templates right away this is another way of doing it if you click templates what would uh, do or what it would actually do is lead you to all of the templates so you would see the different templates we have from our old um, products we made them available for you today like the mobile treasure island templates you also have the um, mobile cash uh, cyclone all the other templates that we have uh, in the pre in the past you should see them here but we also have as you can see there's a lot of uh, different templates pages and pages of templates for you to choose from uh, I'll show you just the generic ones not the squeeze Moby ones but uh, the generic ones that you could also use for example this one RSS Le uh, reader business app magazine these are the different templates you could also use okay once you cl click on create new app it would also so um, allow you to get to this section but I'm just showing you this because you could select the um, the template right away okay and start working on it so this is the the shortcut version just click on templates uh, choose a template that you'd like uh, to use and then you can now start um, working on your um, mobile app but let me just go back to the main page again just for you to be able to see how the create new app section works okay and let me just check here okay uh, sorry it's taking quite some time there as you can see um, this is the the main page uh, with information about the, the different apps and all that things that you could do um, other things about uh, the product as well you might uh, you could also read through this or you could click on my apps the my app section is the actually the uh, first page you're going to see so once you click on mobile apps uh, the system would automatically lead you to the my app section so this is what you saw earlier right if you remember 
the first screen that you saw. So this is also the My Apps profile. You could just edit the profile uh, uh, regarding your information. So you could actually have that there, but not often used. So you also have here options. Preview your application on your phone, iPad, Android device by installing app for iPhone, iPad, Android, Kindle, web app, and log in using your apps.loginmobi.com credentials. So you could also do that. It's just a note there. Okay. So let's create a new app. Click on create new app. So there, as you can see, sorry, it's taking quite some time here. Okay, so there, as you can see, uh, once you click on new, uh, create new apps, uh, you're being led to the template section. So here, as you can see, you can now choose a template. Uh, maybe um, let's create a new one. You could use the, the MTI ones if you'd like to, if you really love the, the designs. Or if these are the ones that you are, uh, if you have a website, rather, that you've created using the template, you might want to use this as well as an app. Why? Because, I mean, it's going to really give you a, a, a generic feel or rather a, a theme-like feel for all of your uh, mobile applications. So you have mobile apps, you have mobile website, it, it looks the same, and people could easily recognize your uh, the things that you've been doing. But I'll, I'll try and use a generic one. Okay, let me just go here. Um, business app is, is the one of the uh, one of the generic ones that we have. Also, we have coffee shops here. If you'd like that, I'm trying to find here the blank template. So here, as you can see, we have a blank template as well. Why why would I like to use this? Um, the the thing about this is that I'd like to actually show you the different functions. So I can do that uh, more effectively if I use the blank template because. If you have this, um, they already have in, um, pre-installed information on them, so you just have to edit it, which is kind of faster. But what I'd like to teach you guys right now is to um, be able to do it uh, from scratch. So we'll select the blank template, uh, click on select, and you should be led to the next screen. Okay, just waiting for that to load. And here, as you can see, you have your live preview right away. So all of your mobile apps have your live preview. So it already shows you how it looks like, and you could already play around with it. Okay, so you could um, see how the actual um, app would behave. But then again, you could see that this is just a blank one. So here, I'd like to show you uh, the different sections here so that you, you, would, you would be more familiar with them. Um, you have your iPhone, iPad, Kindle, Android, and web app. So you could already choose um, the a platform for your app. For example, you are creating a an app for um, an Android. So you could choose that, and the system would already change the uh, preview to uh, the Android app. Okay, and you could also choose the different um, the commonly used Android device, so HTC Galaxy, that's uh, also Nexus 7 and 10. So there, uh, let's just uh, use this one, okay? But maybe today, let's just use the iPhone. So there, so you, you've seen you've already uh, changed that. It's, it's easy to do that. So if you, you, you have decided to uh, choose the iPhone, um, let's do the 5. This is the latest one. Three point, uh, the, the other one is for the iPhone 4. So here... Uh, once you've decided to, to use this, you can now click on Use Template. Okay, so uh, as you can see now, uh, we have this blank template um, name. Number three, you could change this to whatever name you'd like. And just make sure that there's no space in it. Like, for example, blank template and you have a space that, that um, may not work. So make sure that you name it. For example, um, New App or the name of your company. Uh, for example, SMB app. There. Let's click on create. Okay. 
And let's just wait for that to load. Okay, I'm also trying to Okay, let me just see here. So it's taking quite some time. Um and let me just wait for the screen to load. I hope you could you could see this the, the screen as well. And you could just follow along. So once you click on create, uh, you should have the there this section. So this section already has the uh, basic editing information for your app. For example, the app store name, how you'd like the uh, what what name you'd like to appear on the app store once you have it uploaded there. Uh, the platform you could even change it again if you'd like to there. Uh, if if you think you uh, if you change your mind and don't want the iPhone, um, at, at this point, you could already uh, make the changes right away. Um, navigation, you could already change the navigation tab. So uh, we have four, actually. You have one that, that has no tabs, okay? And uh, there are the standard tabs. You could also use the custom tab, so you could upload your own image. And the wheel type, which, is, uh, which looks kind of cool there. If you, for example, would like to use the standard tabs, uh, just click this, and you should have the standard tab. Uh, font and text, you could already edit the, the size, even the color of your font. Just the, uh, click it, and there you would have this uh, for you to be able to just choose the font by dragging and uh, moving your cursor to wherever, whatever color you, you'd like and have it saved. You don't need to know the... Um, codes for that, like the U, the saturation, um, luminosity, and all that. The RGB, as we call it, the red, green, and blue. You don't need to know the combination. Just go ahead and choose it from here. But if you know, then definitely you could enter it here. And once you've decided on the color, um, alignment, you could uh, make uh, the text appear uh, to the left, right, center, or justified. Uh, you could also make the direction of the text from left to right or right to left if you need to and line height of uh, it's up to you uh, whatever how many points you'd like but I'll just leave it as it is uh, background you could change it uh, the background image just click here and uh, you could upload yours or you could choose from the ones in the gallery okay just wait for that to load so that you could see um, in uh, while you're waiting actually in the um, left hand side uh, corner of your screen right at the uh, bottom part you'd see configure later that is in case you don't want to uh, make these changes yet uh, and would just like to do it later you could actually do it along the way here as you can see you could upload a uh, file or zip for, for different um, ones or if you have a lot and you could also search online you could do it uh, just make sure that the logo you'll be using if you did the search function uh, you, you also need to be um, you, you, you need to ensure that you actually are uh, using the um, image that doesn't have any copyright or uh, you actually uh, had a copyright secured or permission to use the image if you use the search functionalities. So there, contact info, you could already change uh, your company name, your address, phone and email. And then once you're done, just click finish and hit done. And it would now save the changes that you made there. So here, as you can see, it would now lead you to the section where you could start editing your uh, app. So as you can see, the, the apps doesn't have anything on the pages because, again, this is a blank template. So let's start per, uh, first rather uh, by um, editing the pages. So click on Edit Page, and it would lead you to the next screen. Okay. There. As you can see, this this is tab one, tab two. This is it. There. If you click here, uh, it would show you what uh, page you're going to edit. Uh, tab three, and then tab four. So just like the, the, the web uh, version, I mean the, the mobile app version, 
um, rather the mobile site version, uh, it has the edit content and the edit style. So you could um, change the style here if you'd like to, or just simply edit the contents. So here's the style for the page. You could change the font, padding if you need uh, to have margins. Um, there, you also also have background attachment if you would like to have it fixed, or if they could uh, if it scrolls down as well, a uh, background image and all that. So you could do that. Make sure that you always click on Apply Changes and hit Done right after you see the design successfully saved. Uh, once you see that, it means you could click Done because if you do not save it, even if you click on Done, whatever you did, okay would not be seen here. So there. And here, you could also see the different tabs. Uh, now you could edit the content. If you click here, you could start editing the content. So let's start editing the content first. I'll show you the different things you could add. Okay, and let's just wait for it to load. So different, uh, there are different items you could actually add. Um, just so you know, uh, you could add images, you could add text, you could also add links to it. It's up to you. You could uh, do all that, and I'll show you how you could do it. Okay. Oh, so this is the the actual page that that you have. You could uh, start editing that. So this is, uh, we're editing the tab too. Okay. So here you see the design. For the design, if you, if you remember WordPress, right? For WordPress, you have the, the uh, view and the text version, right? The, the, then um, you could uh, also do it this way. If you know HTML codes, then you could click on HTML mode. Then you could start typing HTML codes here. But uh, for people like me who doesn't know that, just click on Design. So this is the editor mode, just like how you would do uh, in WordPress where you could actually see the uh, actual look. Okay? So here, uh, these are the different things that you could do with it. These are the different things that you could add on your app. Okay? So here, for example, uh, this allows you to actually cut or copy um, Images or tags, uh, all that, you could do that here. You could even add links if you'd like to. So, for example, let's just first add a heading. So, this is heading H1. Uh, you could make your heading 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Or you can even just make this a paragraph if you'd like to. But uh, these are the different headings. Just like in WordPress as well. So, for example, let's make this the, the heading 1. Uh, just insert, and after doing that, you could now start um, typing in your heading. So, for example, hello world. There. Uh, you could highlight it and edit it. For example, you might want to make it center. So, these are the um, tools for you to be able to um, change the alignments, like um, align to the left, justified, you also have right and center. So the font, as you can see, um, the colors, you could also change them. Um, for example, the font F is for the font. You could change it to different fonts, for example. Uh, these are just the, the generic ones. Um, maybe let's use Georgia, for example. So click on insert, and there, the font changed. You could also change the size. This is the size. The A with the smaller one. So if you'd like to make it 10, insert there, there. Oh, sorry, why did I click that? And you could also um, change this, uh, this one, the, the color of the text. Uh, for example, you'd like to make it blue here. If you know the code, definitely just type it in here. For example, um, just typing random codes here, things like that. So if you know the, the color code, like F, 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 there, then just go ahead and use that. 
or if you would like to just use the colors from here then you could also do it so maybe let's use this so that's the color it, that was red and let's just make this center so there that's how you actually add text so uh, if you'd like to add images uh, this is the one that you're going to use so you can see click on that and you could start adding your images so for the images you have um, different options you could use the images from the gallery uh, the one that's, that's preloaded or saved on the system uh, those are free you could use them uh, you also have uh, images that you could upload. These are the images that you have from your hard drive that you could upload to your um, system. So you could save it here uh, for you to be able to use and reuse if you'd like to. Okay. And another way for you to be able to, another means for you to be able to uh, do it is to also search online. Um, like how you, uh, I've shown you earlier, there's a search option. The search option uh, would allow you to search images using keywords like how you would Google it. For example, cute pictures, you could do that. And once you do that, what usually happens is um, you could see the different images online, uh, search through them as well using this, like a browser, and then just click whatever image you'd like, and the system would use that. However, again, like, like what I, I often say, uh, make sure that you are authorized to use those images to avoid any problems. So let's just wait for this to load. Sorry, it's taking quite some time. Okay, and okay. Well, uh, while we're waiting, I'll try to see some of your questions. Um, while I'm I'm demoing, just I uh, would like to let you know, guys, that I may not be able to. Uh, I'm not seeing your questions because I had to go to the screen and not to. Okay, let me just check what what are the questions we have. Okay, I, I, I see a question here regarding the, um, yes, um, for the different um, fonts, if, if you'd like to, to use different ones, then definitely just um, try and um, do the, the codes, because uh, the codes could actually do that. Uh, again, I'm not uh, familiar with the different codes for, for doing that, but you could use the HTML option to add different contents here that uh, you may want to put in. And here, as you can see, this is the resources. Uh, what the resources sections would show you, uh, these are the ones you already have on file that, that you are currently using on your app. Uh, but you could add more. If you upload a, a file, um, get it from the gallery, or like what I mentioned, you could search. You could already upload from here uh, using the zip file, OK? And you could upload file from here. So let's, let's try and find a picture. Uh, let's try and check different pictures here. If we have generic ones, um, there's Michael Bublé. <laughs> so, for example, this one. Uh, this is my picture in uh, Boracay. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you're familiar with, with that place. Um, it's a beautiful beach in the Philippines, southern part. So, this is a jump shot I did. Kind of cool. <laughs> I, I, I love the shot. So, if you'd like to use that, um, here, I just, just wait for that to load. So you can see from the upload file, I went back to the resources section. The system would bring you back here to, to show you or let you know that what you've uploaded is already ready for use. So here, as you can see, uh, it's SM. That's the file name that I have. And just tick the box, check it for you to be able to use it, and then click on choose. So there. I'm just waiting for that to load. So there, as you can see, you now have that um, jump shot picture uh, we have here. Okay. And okay. So um, as you can see, we've already added uh, an image. Uh, you could also um, add more things from uh, for this page. Uh, I'll just not go to the other pages because you could you could actually uh, edit other pages if you'd like to. Okay, uh, but let's just uh, do it in this page so that you could actually see how they work. Okay, so uh, for example, then uh, the next thing that I'd like to show you is how you could link these uh, things. For example, the text, if you'd like to 
um, link this to a page, for example, uh, you could do that. Uh, as you can see, you have here the link options. So this one, uh, this one, the, the one that has that um, page, uh, like a paper image with the link on it, it links you, it allows you to link the image to different um, tabs or different pages that you have. For example, you'd like to link this to tab number three, then you could do that and just insert. So all the, the different pages that you have would appear on this section. Okay? That insert. Okay, sorry. I think uh, I just removed that. Let me just go ahead and put that back in. So, for example, hello world. Insert that in there. This one is already linked to the actual page. So it should be linked to tab 3. Okay? And then, what if you'd like to link it to a different, uh, to a website? Let's add a, uh, another text here. Okay? Let's use this one. Or you could also use this. There, let's add a heading to... Um, For example, let's link it to, let's just put in click here. You could actually ha have this link to a website. Uh, so, so you can see here, the link text, uh, let's click here. And then you could just put in the external website. So in the browser, link to external URL. So you could actually have it linked to, for example, uh, squeezemobi.com if you'd like to. So there, just insert that, and that should already be linked. However, uh, these are for you to be able to link it to sites and uh, pages. There's also this option of just there, as you could see. Uh, you could use this. This is going to be uh, quite easy in a sense that, for example, you have this text. You don't have to type in anything. Uh, just click this, and just like how you would do it in WordPress, right? Uh, you could just highlight it, um, choose this link, uh, same image with WordPress, uh, type in, for example, youtube.com if you'd like to have this led to your YouTube account. User, for example, squeeze Moby. there, this is the, the uh, page. So uh, app link to external URL. In browser, you could also link this to a, a different one. Or you could just link it to a page also. You could do that. These are just the pages that we have saved. That's why these are the only ones that you're seeing here. But once you add new pages, you should see them there. So, for example, let's have this here so that it would open to the next page or uh, other browsers. So here, as you can see, this also allows you to unlink the page. So if you use this, click that, this page would be unlinked. Okay, let's, let's save this first so that um, I'll... Because uh, this will be crowded if we do the other things. Let's hit save. And again, uh, I would like to remind you to always hit save before hitting done. Again, if, if there, successfully save. You saw that. I hope you, you've seen that. Just right below here, there, it says successfully save. If you do not see that, then um, even if you click done, whatever you did here would not be saved. Uh, it may be, but then again, you are risking of losing the things that you've done. Um, if you do that. So here we are in the, the tab 2. If you click that, as you can see, that um, it's, it's linked there. As you can see, it, it did open this page. Let's click on back. Hello world, it, it's supposed to go to the next, uh, to another page as well. So there, that should be working now. Oh, um, let me just edit this again. Because uh, you could also, I forgot to mention, you could also link your images to different pages as well as link your images to uh, external website. The things that you just need to do or uh, use is the same one. Just just highlight it or click it and then just click the link. So here, let's just wait for the things here to load. Okay. This one, if you'd like to have this image um, linked, you could just go ahead and click it. Okay, there. And just link it to, for example, tab 3 or an external page. And insert. And there you should have that linked already. Again, hit save. 
successfully saved and now you could do done so it would uh, bring you to the main page so this is again the preview this is the uh, simulator this is the live preview okay so let's let's do other things here um, let's uh, for example as you can see here you have resources manager here done if you're done with editing the pages here you could add more pages there uh, this is uh, this one so you could also use this but let's just have this one first uh, add or delete pages so this is the the add one there the the plus sign minus would be to delete the page you just need to highlight it okay and then click minus okay and here as you could see you could search the keyword okay or you could just simply browse through them the good thing about this like what I've shown you on the uh, premium mobile site uh, you could just hover through them and it would give you a preview of how that page would look there as you can see these are the HTML pages uh, I think I've shown you this but I'll just go through them again in case for those people who missed it the menu uh, menu type pages you could do it here or HTML pages about us you have we have one created you also have here the shopping cart. You also have rate and review. I like this. Um, calendar, if you'd like. Notes. You could also do geo page type. So these are the geo pages. So check in, uh, location finder maps, nearby locations. You could also use that. Um, image types. Apps, RSS, book types. So if you're, you're, you'd like to use the EPUB option and the game page type, if you'd like to create a Tetris puzzle, memory game, karaoke, if you'd like to sing there. So maybe let's just, let's just um, first use a color menu one just for me to be able to show you how it looks like. So there, hit next and you could name the the page so for example you'd like to name it menu click on create and the page should be created so here as you can see you have your newly created page there and you could already edit it as you can see this is how it looks like go to page one go to page two page three page four this looks nice if you actually have it used as a um, for the for actual menus or if, if you'd like to actually um, have this as your main page without having to use the different tabs here this works for that so let's edit the content for us to be able to start editing this okay so here as you can see you could just go ahead and click them and see that it already works so here as you can see you have go to page one, go to page two, go to page three. These are actually functions um, ready-made on your um, system for you to just start putting in um, data. What do I mean by that? For example, you have go to page one. Uh, you could uh, have that leading to tab one. So if they click that, it leads to tab one. Uh, go to page two, for example. Um, you could have this going to a URL. For example, um, it's up to you. Uh, it could be just um, some somewhere within your site or an external URL. You could also change the description here, the one that you see there. For example, um, description of what page it's going to go to, things like that. You could also change the color. If you don't like this color, if you just wanted to use this pattern, then just change the colors to something else, maybe... Uh, a teal like color perhaps if you'd like that again if you know the code just type it here if you don't know just like what I'm doing just drag and hit choose and there as you can see the change uh, the color changed already so that's, that's how you add a page and edit the contents of those pages so just to, to remind you each page um, the pre-created page that you see you saw on the previous um, section where I actually got this um, type the menu page type uh, you could actually use um, different functionalities on it just make sure that you edit it by editing the content and you could already 
um, see that there are preloaded features to it, like this one, okay, to make your life easier, okay? So again, hit save, wait for success, uh, successfully saved, and then hit done. So you're done editing that page, okay? So here we now have the, the menu created, for example, okay? So for example, this tabs, um, you could also change the, the images here. Let's just um, click on done here and let's go back to this main page. Okay, so here there are other things that you could do. For example, design properties, um, navigation settings. Let's, let's click that for example. Okay, for you to be able to see that. Here, this is what I was talking about the different tabs earlier. If in case you change your mind and would like to use a custom tab, you could do it here. Okay, you just have to click on add and keep adding your um, tabs. However, if you'd like to use just a standard tab, you could do this. Um, you could uh, edit the different tabs. For example, um, this one, if, if you don't want to use this image or would like to use something else, you have here the name, for example, um, instead of tab, maybe you might want to put in page one. There, it's up to you um, if you'd like to change the name. Uh, here, the I, uh, as you can see, it already changed. Here, you could change the icon, what you see here. So, click that. The ellipsis that you saw there to, to show this. So, again, we have gallery type here. And you could upload your own, okay? And you could also search online if you'd like to. So, you have a lot. So you, there are uh, different icons here appropriate for different types of uh, businesses that you could use. Maybe let's just uh, like to use this running man, just for example. Add to resources, and it would bring you to the resources page. So again, um, once you see it on the resources page, it only means you can now start using it because it's already loaded for this app. So just click it, and usually you get the one that you have uploaded or would like to use highlighted in blue and then click choose. So there you now have the image change. You could also um, have the uh, different tabs rearranged. Just um, left click and then drag. And then drop it where you'd like it. For example, here, you might want to make tab four, ta uh, page three, just for example. So page three for that. And then you might want, you could actually change it if you'd like to. Okay, so there, uh, you could add more tabs if you, you wanted to, but then again, not necessarily required. So you have tab five here. Maybe let, let's make this page five. Uh, you could choose an icon there. So you could use the one that's already on the gallery or you could upload yours. If you need more, then just keep adding. Click add and you should have more tabs added to your uh, system, okay? And again, uh, if, if you feel, feel like, yeah, you want to change it, uh, the, the design, maybe you would want to make this a real type, then you could do that, okay? So let's go back here, standard tabs. You already have here some notes. Okay, take, take note of this because um, it may not work if you do not follow it. For example, for icons, the PNG format is recommended. So just make sure that you avoid using interlaced PNGs. So PNG format is uh, recommended. You may use JPEG, but then again, um, you may encounter some problems if it's not PNG because that's the one that works best for the apps. If you have a PNG file, you could just edit it, um, save as. Open it, for example, using Paint, and then have your picture there. Open it. Uh, open your picture, for example. Where's my pictures? There. Uh, for example, this one. Um, this just file. Save us because we're getting questions about this. Here, as you can see, um, you could change it to PNG. So there, it would ask you to save it uh, and rename it if you'd like to. Okay. So there. Ah, there's already a PNG file. This one's a PNG. But if you'd like to change it to 
JPEG, then you could also do it here. So there, uh, so that's how easy it is for you to change the file type. So you now have your this section edited. You could uh, easily do that. You could also remove the tabs from here. So your uh, once you've already added it, uh, added your icon or change it, or if you wanted to upload your, your own, make sure that you use the maximum size of 48 by 32 pixels. That's the size of the icons that you see here. Okay? So save changes. Successfully save. You saw it there, right? There. Let me just click there. Here. You see it there. Uh, you could click here anywhere uh, where you see the save changes and hit on done once you're done editing that. So th these are the edits that we did. You made it pages. Okay. So that's the navigation menu. Design properties, let me just show you how that works. So again, here, you could change the app name again if, if you decide to or if you did configure later. Okay. The background logo, you could change that, uh, even the color. Just click it. Text alignment and all that. These are the same things that you saw earlier when we did create new app. So again, if you felt that you've uh, already you're satisfied with the changes that you did, apply changes first, and then wait for it to load. Um, that means that you have already saved that, and then that's when the time that you, uh, that's the only time that you click on done. Um, let's just wait for it to go back to the main page. So here you have page settings. Let's click that so that you could see how it works. I'm just showing you the different aspects to this. Again, there's a lot of things that you could do. I'm just showing you the basics or what um, what you feel you may need to easily create um, your own um, app. Um, again, uh, HTML coding is, is is this is enabled for that. There's a lot of other things that you could actually do with it. Okay, uh, you all have the diff different options. There. So navigation, add banners. You could also create banners from uh, on top, below. There, you could also do this. Uh, the rev mob here, as you could see. This is how it would look like. Okay, download free games and all that. You could make it a pop-up, full screen. C currently, there's none, but you could do it, uh, and you could have it wherever you'd like to have that. Transition animation. You could. Uh, there's none. But you could make the transition, for example, here, uh, page curling here, or slide, for example, or flip. There, it's up, it's up to you how you'd like to do that. Flick, uh, if you could, I would actually use the this one. Slide to the next page, like how you would open your Apple, right? Uh, slide to unlock the screen. Ratings, you could do this um, there. You could have this added okay dynamic data you could also have it added here if uh, if you know how to actually um, use these ones sharing you could uh, have your share by Facebook or by email option added right away there's none here but you could um, have that added if you'd like to on them hide tab you could also do that so there will be no tabs and just the back button. So once you're done with it, you could just click on save and then done. So there, um, App Store properties, um, you could edit these statistics and all that. But let's go to the page again and edit the other pages. So let's um, add more pages. Let me show, uh, show you different things that you could do with the pages. Okay. Let's have the, there, this one. Just click on the plus sign to start adding new pages. So you've seen a menu type page. Um, you could also use an HTML type page if you'd like to. Okay. Native page type geo pages for them to check in. You could also have social pages. I like this these ones because if you have them, there, 
as you could see, it displays this for you, where they could log in and just click on um, like and all that, automatically like your page. Even a barcode scanner, this, this, this is really nice, okay? And the different games. So uh, I'd like to just add um, here a blank HTML, okay? So this is just a blank one that you could customize because these ones, as you can see, these are the custom type or the, the type that you usually see on your um, WordPress, right? Uh, it already has pictures on it. Um, let's just, okay, maybe let's just use one of them. So for example, I like the one that has pictures. So I could show you, you could edit them easily. Maybe this elegant letter. Let's click on next. Rename it if you'd like to. And then click on create. There, so you now have your page. Uh, you see the lorem ipsum thing there, just like WordPress. Edit content. Click on content and you should be able to edit the, this in case you don't want to actually there. Just wanted to add um, text there, for example, you could do that. You could just highlight it or delete it if you'd like to. What I just did, let me just control Z. The control Z, control V thing works here. The shortcuts for Windows. Uh, command C, I think, for um, Apple users there. So, for example, I just highlighted it and I, ju I just typed over it. Or you could just uh, highlight it and then delete them. So it's, it's just, e it's that easy. It's like editing a Word file, for example. So um, let's change the title. For example, my trip to, okay. And then just add the content. It was a fun and happy trip. So it's up to you. Okay, again, the square image um, should be a J uh, JPEG one. Okay, you could uh, insert your image here. And we already have the picture. Uh, you could reuse them as, as long as you have them on the resources. Remember the SM, that's the, my picture. Uh, just click that and then choose. And then you should have it added there. So there, uh, it's already added and you could even add different things on the page uh, for example uh, YouTube videos okay YouTube embed, uh, embed all you have to do is just go to youtube.com uh, and then find the um, video you'd like to upload okay for example let's, let's have a squeeze movie video there this is our channel and okay this is the the let's, let's just find a shorter one maybe this one squeeze more billionaire intro video just go to that video and once you're on it like how you would usually do it uh, when embedding it on a page uh, just hit share embed and there copy it you can right click and then copy or just control C. Make sure that here uh, you could actually just click it, one click and usually it highlights everything. But then again, if you're not sure, you could always do control A to highlight them all. So let's go back to our page and have it added here. Control V or right click and then paste if you'd like to. Both of them works. Just hit insert and there you now have the video. So so you can see that the video size is, is kind of big, okay? You could actually have that edited. Um, make the video, I think I'm hearing E talk in there. So there, so you could edit the, the size, okay? Because normally as you can see here, the width and the height, you could edit it to uh, whatever size that, that you'd like. We have a rec uh, recommended one, uh, 320 by 265 only. Okay, so that's what you see here. Okay, I'm just, um, or you could make it even smaller if you'd like to. Okay, insert. There, so you can see it, it's now 
This one's smaller now. And it fits the screen as opposed to the other one that we did there. That's, that's kind of big. Okay, so make sure that you edit that. Okay, so you, people don't have to scroll. And you could also add here your own videos if you'd like to. I'll just upload them here. Upload file. And here it will be bundled in the resulting app. Okay, uh, even if we upload one now, uh, it would not be seen yet, but uh, it would be added once uh, you have your app published. Or you can convert the media file to HTTP live streaming. It will be hosted on your server. So this will be for uh, MP3s, MP4s, and .mov files only. Okay, so if you, um, do you have the notes here? Uh, if you're uploading a big size media like um, MP3, MP4, and MP5, you need to enable HTTP live streaming. Or you could keep it, the file on a hosted server. So it would not get bundled in the app. So what happens is they need to always connect. So here, you could upload the video, for example. Um, let's go to our videos. Uh, this one, for example. There. Uh, we need to, to wait for that to upload. And once it's completed, you could have that inserted and added to the... So I'm sorry, it's taking quite some time to upload that. Uh, we're having some internet connectivity issues here. So there, you could also add or link um, MP3s or WAV files if you'd like to. This is for MP3s if you'd like to have one. Where are our music? So there, for example, we have a Michael Bublé song here, Sway. Uh, you just need to have that uploaded and that should be added to your file. So I'm going to stop this just for me to be able to save my bandwidth since I, I um, kind of have a slow connection today. But this is how you do it. Okay. You can even have this one, shopping cart added. Just put in your ID, name, the prices. You could also add a URL image, uh, an image that you'd like to appear. This is optional. Or you could have an image there and just put these information right below it. Okay. And you also have this one. This is the PayPal button that could be created here. You just have your to have your PayPal account team email here, for example, Hanson. Um, just for example, Hanson at this is not an active one. So there's your email. Uh, for example, my name, currency that you would like to receive it, the product name, for example, SMB, the price, and then you could link it to a tab or a page after they actually did pay. So you could do that. There, pay with PayPal, as you can see. Or you could just um, have your PayPal button and add them to the page. Uh, just HTML, for example, and have that as an iframe and have it added to your page. So that, that's how you do it. This is just for the paragraph. I hope I was able to cover everything here. This is just the copy, cut, paste options there. Uh, this is the table. I was not able to do this yet. So you could add a table right away without having to use any widget. For, for example, you need five columns and three rows. You could have one border, um, one shows no border, uh, show border, border, zero would have no borders. So you could insert it. And here is the table. Okay. So if you'd like to have a table added. Okay. And that's just it that um, you could even use this. This is for you to be able to do, uh, undo or redo actions that you did on. This is a control Z and um, control Y options that you also have. Uh, these are the indents. If you'd like to make this, uh, for example, this one, uh, you could just highlight it and make the indention if you need to there, as you can see. So there, that's how you are actually able to edit the pages. Again, make sure that you save and then hit done once you have completed the 
Okay. There, as you can see, the upload was interrupted, as, as it said. So let's just go back to the uh, another page here. So those things should actually be working now. Uh, there are things here that you are seeing. Uh, I'd like to also show them to you. Add, edit, or uh, layer elements, or drag or move page elements. So let's just put, I uh, use the add or edit layer elements. And let's go to the next page for this. So here, as you can see, uh, you could add a text box, and uh, another text box if you'd like to. That's going to overlap the things that you have on the page. Okay, or you could add buttons. Uh, let's just do, uh, edit this one. For example, this one layer. There, uh, you could drag and drop it wherever you'd like to have it. For example, um, click here. Something like that. You could change the color, the background image. Okay, uh, you could choose from the resource that you have. Or from the gallery, you could choose different ones. For example, this is a Facebook page you're creating, or just a plus sign there, add to resource manager to have it added. And there it's highlighted. Check it and choose it. So that should be added there. And then you could uh, make the alignment um, center if you'd like to. Um, you could also make the overflow visible or hidden if you'd like to. Text alignment there, the line height, you could change it here. A uh, background color, if you'd like to change the background color to something else, just do that. So as you can see, it was changed there. Okay. Background position, left top, you could also make it um, center, bottom. So there, that's that's the background image that I was, uh, that it was referring to. It was overlapping here earlier, but you could make it uh, go at the bottom or somewhere else. Okay, so just save this and you should have that added. You could also have a button here, there. Uh, you could um, link it to a page, different pages that we have. As you can see, it's, uh, the other pages that we've created are already appearing there. And also, you could change the, posi the position of the background if you'd like to add something, uh, images like that. Okay, or the color. Again, it's the RGB thing with the U saturation and all that. But then again, no need to worry about that. Just drag and drop wherever. So let's have a green color this time. Let's have a lighter shade of green. There. Again, if you know the code, type it here. So here, you now have your um, button. Okay. As you can see, it's going to link to this page, okay? You have the border if you'd like to change to padding. You could also add a text if you'd like to. For example, um, tap here. And you could make that center. You could even make this smaller if you'd like to. Just drag and drop as well. I think I, I did overdid it. Okay, there, as you can see, uh, I think I dragged it too much. It became too small. Let's just show you this one to make it faster. So item tax, click here. You can change the background color to something else. Choose that. Let's make this center. And there, just drag until you have the size you like. So there, and then drag, drop it to wherever you'd like to place it also. Uh, again, I'm just showing this on the bla uh, blank screen, but you could always have this added on any other page. This is just for the image again. If you'd like to layer an image here. Okay. Image SRC. So that's the, the, the link where... You'd like to, where the image is located. Uh, let's just use my picture again just so you see it. And then there, you can again drag and to stretch it, 
to make it big bigger or something it's up to you um, position you could make it uh, have a background image if you'd like to add it to it for example let's get one from the gallery uh, maybe a star add to resources and let's just choose that and then you could uh, always change that to center text alignment you could also add text there if you'd like to and all that so th those are the things that you could do on this section so these images you could move easily from one place to the next so that's how easy it is for you to do all of these okay and again hit save and then done once you've completed that and whatever changes you did should appear on this section so there as you can see it's already here okay so in this section as you can see slide to the next page you can make your page um, the, the, the option that I've shown you you could also edit it here you could um, slide the next page they could do that or curl you could make this page curling hit save and once we view that let's hit done you should see that the changes should be done that way so here and we now have our app so once you're done with the app just click on done and you should see here all of the changes that you did so if you'd like to have push notifications you could also do it here app multimedia you could add multimedia from this section as well those are just uh, these are just uh, rep uh, um, repeating sections that you could also do within the the page I'm just showing it to you so that you see it uh, the good thing about this section though is that it gives you the specifications of the different um, media that you're going to add for example if you'd like to have an application icon okay that's 57 by 57 so that's the actual logo or picture they see on the page right uh, I'll show you an example later uh, application icon for uh, retina display that's 114 by 114 PNG only okay so again these are PNG only files if you use JPEG it may would not work splash screen uh, so again we know the splash screen these this is what appears when um, it's loading for uh, retina 4 this is how it should look like splash screen demo optional you could also do it here so these are the specifications in case you forget the sizes you could do it here so let's go to our to our apps so this one this is the um, logo that I, I was referring to so if you'd like to actually um, see the one that you did uh, or created you could always go here and properties are also here click on properties and this is for the App Store keywords if you are already um, having this added to the App Store description what's the description of your app you could also choose the categories from this section if it's a game education entertainment it's up to you secondary this is not necessary but you could also choose one multimedia you could add them here as well so there that, that's how you could actually edit your app so again like what, what I told you guys before if you know how to use the different functionalities of your uh, mobile um, site builder like the uh, HTML codes and all that you could always do it here also okay and you could also and on this section just to let you know you could search for if you have a lot of apps you could search from this section or just um, click here for you to be able to see or just search on the target app that you would like so that's just it. That's that's just what uh, the the things that you could actually do. There's uh, even a lot, uh, but again, uh, I just tried to cover as much as I could. Just try to cover the basic things that you have on your mobile app builder. And um, I, um, there's the the pages. Just for example, has um, hundreds, if uh, if not thousands, of different functionalities and features for you to choose from. 
preloaded features for you to do, okay, that you could actually use on your system. Okay? And that's it. So, um, just uh, I'll, I'll just uh, try to answer some questions here, okay, um, as much as I could, and then we'll wrap things up. Uh, again, um, just because uh, I see a question here already about the um, location of, let me just go back, uh, for the main page here, um, if you'd like to see the training, because um, I'm seeing here questions, a lot of questions about the previous trainings that we did. If you are missing them, um, click on training and support and it should open this page. Okay. And you have the quick start uh, mobile blueprint okay section here as you can see and then the mobile sites we already did a mobile site training um, just to answer your question it's here you have the basic training here but if you'd like the in-depth one we did um, you, it should be loaded uh, the knowledge base for SMS we have the SMS training here here as you can see, apps will be putting it here as well. Here, I will be putting them here. Okay, we have one, but uh, we'll have new ones added. I think this is the <laughs> mobile side, but I'm not sure. Let me, uh, I'll double check on that one. So here, as you can see, uh, you could find all the information. You also have added ones. If you are uh, a SqueezeMobi uh, original member, then you should see the other sessions that we had here. And Knowledge Base actually has the training materials as well, if you'd like to also check them. And let me just see all of your other questions. Okay, I'm just trying to go back to your question, sorry. It's, it's kind of slow for me. Okay, this uh, question about the slider. Um, the slider technically is, is just how uh, they're going to navigate from one screen to the next. So let me um, just try and go back to that. So for the slider, um, remember if, if you, you have your iPhone or if you have your um, your uh, I touch, for example, when, when you have your main screen, right, there's a section there that says um, a slide uh, to unlock the screen. That's just a slider. It's, it, it actually just works the same as that, okay? Um, however, um, here we added other options for you to, to do that. You could also um, add your, let me just not, just, okay, I think uh, you got it. <laughs> okay, so this is it. Uh, you could also do the curling thing if, if you have your um, books, your iBooks downloaded, okay? You should, you should just see the curling thing for when, once you're moving to the next page. That's just it, okay? Okay, um, on the main preloaded premium websites, okay, so the... Um, Okay, I think this is the uh, for the mobile website. Um, let me just answer questions here. There are many great marketing tips by Enrique in the various sales webinars. Are these stored? Yes, uh, you could see them. All of the the ones that we had, it's here. Go to original. Um, Excuse me, billionaire sessions. This one, sales training, original 10 day challenge. Let's go to this page so that you'd see it. Here, the links to the different ones here. And for example, let's have the 10 day challenge. Should be here. And when you go to each page, you should see the different videos for that. And here are they. Also, original Skills of Billionaire sessions, we have the marketing tips here. You should see them here as well. Here, as you can see, measuring in mobile marketing, 
Groupon, so on. There's a lot. Checking another questions here. Um, yes, for question about using a, a squeeze mobi mob templates. Yes, uh, just uh, you could use them. Uh, the squeeze mobi templates. Just choose that. Uh, how do you use it? Uh, there's no special code or whatever. All you have to do is just use it as any other template. So. For example, here are the templates. These are the different excuse me, uh, squeeze, squeeze movie templates. For example, you'd like to use a co coffee shop, just hit select. And here, this is the MTI template. I'm sure you're familiar with this. The about us page, there, and all that. So here, uh, that's how easy it is for you to use it. And just edit it if, if you need to make the necessary changes. Okay, let me just check the other questions here. Okay, uh-huh. Can it, uh, okay, um, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here a lot of questions about um, uh, your login information as well as your um, a lot of questions about um, that, that the support could actually answer better for you. Um, I suggest that you send us a ticket. Uh, go to http um, colon forward slash forward slash squeezemobi dot zendesk dot com. So the squeezemobi dot zendesk dot com. Okay, because uh, guys, um, we may need information like your email address, things like that. Uh, so, the, so we could actually help you better. Please do send us a ticket if you need uh, problems with your logins and all that. Uh, please um, send us a ticket so we could answer your uh, question right away. Uh, for the replay, again, we'll be uploading this. Please give us 24 hours and we'll have this uploaded. Okay. Are they, yes, they are HTML5. Let me just answer your other questions here. Um, sorry, uh, guys, um, I'm trying my best to answer all of your questions. Uh, I, I understand that um, um, sometimes we were not able to actually answer your questions right away. Uh, we understand that, that, that all of your questions are ve basically very important for us. We'd like to answer them all right away, but then again, uh, please bear with us as uh, there's uh, quite a number of you guys and we just try to answer as much as we could. But then again, you don't have to worry. If you have questions, any other questions that you have, we should be able to answer them within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, you could send us a ticket, again, um, squeezemobi.zendes.com. Uh, we have Shermaine, Abigail, and I myself, even Javar, we're all answering your questions, technical questions that you may have about the, the, the templates and all that, we'll be answering them for you. Or if you have questions about your membership, then we could answer them for you as well. Uh, let me just type in the, the link there. So there. So uh, we'll be um, sending sending you information and rather uh, answering your email once you send us information. And <laughs> thank you so much, Selena, for that. Um, guys, um, um, right now, how does the app work on uh, BlackBerry? And uh, when it comes to BlackBerry, um, currently, um, there's a lot of uh, restrictions when it comes to Blackberries. Uh, we may not have, um, they're, they're, the apps that we have may not necessarily work with with blackberries but it could on some but then again um, technically the the, the uh, focus of the apps currently the the easier ones that we could uh, work with are the iOS and the Android uh, platforms as well as the web apps uh, those are the ones that we currently have but for blackberries um, unfortunately it may not work yet
Uh, do you have to choose with which phone the apps will work on? Yes, uh, Merrick, you need to um, because um, the the apps, uh, the one that you're creating, uh, depending on what you chose. For example, this is the iPhone one, right? Uh, then the settings of this and the codes that will be added to this are the codes for the iPhone users or iPad and all that. You could, however, um, duplicate your um, the one that you have and just edit it. Uh, for, for example, you have created one. Uh, duplicate it and um, create it as a new one. For example, uh, just create a different one. Change the target to, uh, for example, this one. This is an iPhone one. Um, you could duplicate this and just change the setting here. Okay? So that's just it. Um, guys, I, I, I very much hope I was able to import um, some some information and knowledge for you to be able to create your apps. Uh, I honestly know that this could be um, quite uh, difficult to understand at first or difficult to, to do at first. I honestly fa find it um, quite difficult when I first tried to watch the tutorials. But then again, uh, once I tr uh, started doing it, I was surprised that it's actually easy. Uh, it may look uh, kind of difficult when you're watching it. But when you're doing it, it's going to be very easy. And the, the, the thing about the system is that it's going to be very um, intuitive in the sense that you have all the instructions added. We made sure that we do it that way. Uh, like uh, what I what you see here, uh, everything is actually uh, noted there um, and everything. You could actually just play around with it. No codes needed. Um, whatever things, edit pages, for example, um, things that you may want to do with it, um, it's all here. If you edit the content, uh, there would just be on this side. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. We will have this uploaded in, uh, again, 24 to 48 hours. Uh, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to send us a ticket, and we'll answer to you within 24 to 48 hours as well. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope you all have a great day, and thank you for joining us. From uh, Enrique, Avi, Neil, um, Charmaine, um, Jovar, Abigail, and... Um, Giovanni, uh, we thank you all uh, from the whole of Squeeze Moby team. Have a good day. God bless everyone.